Okay, so this is the other half of uh, dealing with ways of dealing with strings. So let's say we have um, a string that contains, uh, call it fruits, and it contains this weird looking list of fruit. It happens to have uh, spaces and slashes between each of them. So if I wanted to get that as um, individual items, like I want a string called apple, one called pear, one called banana, I can use, um, I can make an array of strings, if you remember this from before, and uh, I'll, call it, I'll call it array, fruit array. Um, what I can use is this split tokens function, and basically if I give it a string, or a string variable, and then how I want to separate it. So here's a string that says basically this is what is in between all of the things I'm interested in. And then um, this should work if I want to just if I want to be able to tell that it worked. I can look at uh, fruit array number item number one. Take a guess as to what that should show on the screen. There. So here's item number zero. Here's item number one. Item number two. So I've turned a string, one long string, into an array of strings. Um, so there's also a simpler, or I guess, I don't know, more restrictive version of that function called split. And it takes, instead of a string here, notice that a string is in, enclosed in double quotes. A character is in, enclosed by um, just single quotes. So if this function, if this uh, string, this original string looked like that, maybe I could use split. And the difference is, Split token allows you to put a bunch of characters as the separator, and split just uses uh, one character as the separator. So that would work fine too. Um, another thing I want to show you is, you know, the, between this and the other stuff I showed you, you can do a lot. But uh, where you're really able to deal with strings, and and let's say you had something really complicated in here, and you need just one little piece of that information. Let's say it's HTML and you're trying to pick out one part of an HTML, a whole HTML page. You have to use something called regular expressions and um, this is something that I'd have to help you with I think, but basically uh, we can do something like this where you know the, this this part in double quotes is what I need to help you with because it's almost like a whole other language so I can tell you that this basically says look for anything that is not a space and has more than one of those not a space characters and um, and then when look in fruits for that kind of thing and um, this back the way it was and then um, basically return the results into this match array so this is this is pretty much doing the same thing that we just saw. So if I print uh, match array item number two, we should see the same thing, I think. Uh, duh, duh. Okay, well. Okay, so it's actually uh, item number one is what it found. So um, what I was expecting is different than what match does. There's another function called match all, uh, which can do, um, which can find each one of these items. But usually when you use match, you're looking for a specific part of the string, and that's what it returns into match array. Um, the only problem with this, so this still works, right? This finds apple. That was the first thing it found that looks like this regular expression. Um, the only problem is if it didn't find, let's say, um, I'm looking for something well, if I, if I have a regular expression in here that isn't in the string, so it's something that wasn't found, then this will just cause processing to crash, right? This is an array that doesn't contain what I'm looking for. So um, one way that I could do that is only look at this uh, value of um, in match array if match array has something in it. So I don't think I've shown you this. This is how you can tell if an array actually exists or not. So if match array is not equal to null, then print that. Um, if I wanted to see if match array was null, I could do this, and maybe that's a way to, to uh, print out that um, there was no match. So it's a little complicated, but if you think you need this, you know, you need some complex pattern matching, then uh, ask me and I can give you a hand with using this.